Hello guys, today I'm having some information which will be extremely important for you, especially at this time. It is kind of important for everyone who is going to appear for competitive examination, no matter what examination that you're going to appear in, because all the technical examinations are going to have uh, your calculations and calculations, how are you going to manage during the examination becomes extremely important. I'm going to give a few of the examples and what I used to do. Initially, I thought that this is kind of a dumb topic. And then in the last Momentum podcast, I got this question in the comment section and then I started to discuss. And then I found out that, okay, there are a lot of things that I need to discuss over here. So I'm going to give all the tips and tricks that I have down my sleeves and whatever I used while I was preparing for competitive examinations. I'm not only going to focus towards gate examination, which I know is right around the corner, but I'm also going to share my experiences of engineering services examination, ISRO examination, BARC examination, and other PSU examination. Basically, I'm going to cover all the technical examinations because I've given bunch of examinations. Also, this video has been brought to you by a sponsor who is giving free revision session for science students. So for science students, you know, net examination is coming up. So we've got 15 days free revision sessions for you guys, which will be discussed at the end of the video. And if you are a science student preparing for CSI net examination, stick till the end of this video. Other than that, three minutes I've discussed about how to manage your scribble pad or how to use scribble pad during your examination in the last momentum podcast. So I'm going to just throw those three minutes of clip over here because I don't want to repeat myself because I'm lazy. All right. So I'll see you after that and I'll explain how you can create your own scribble pads and how you can apply these things to other examination which will not even provide you scribble pads. How to use scribble pad efficiently and time managing with college. Okay, time managing with college, I've talked, I've made a lot of videos on time management, but using scribble pad, see, I have uh, been getting this question a lot, all right? And I know that there are few great YouTubers who have already made videos on how to efficiently use scribble pad okay so it is not a deep science that i'm going to talk about it scribble pad are pieces of paper where you're going to make a lot of calculations during your examinations few of the tips that i used to use number one use various colors of pen so scribble pad will actually be limited and it actually depends on the exam center whether they are going to give you a second scribble pad or not I have been in both the situations where they are given second scribble pad and when they have not given. So sometimes you will have to actually manage with the small amount of space you are having. There the multicolored pens actually comes into the picture. So let us say all you have written with blue pen and they are not providing more papers. I don't know why, maybe they are trying to save trees, but still it happens. So you can use the red pen and your eyes will be able to distinguish between what you have written before and what you have written now. Okay. Other thing that you can do is that fold the pages where you have made the calculations, which uh, have some doubt. For example, there are some questions that can be put mark for review, right? Now these questions you are going to come back. Now I do not suggest you guys to solve the mark for review questions again from scratch. Instead, if you write it properly and neatly in your scribble pad only, no, then what will happen and you fold that page and you write it over there that this number of question, there will be only like six, seven uh, mark for review questions. So you get directly to over there, fold the page and over the folded part, write down the question number and you come over there and you already see the calculation. You just revise that calculation whether everything is correct or if you have left it in between, then you can continue from that that is going to save a lot of time when you're using scribble pad so if you do things neatly in a systemized manner for example if you are solving question number one then write properly over there question number one you're doing the solution use less space over there and because there might be situation where they have not providing they are not providing scribble pad in barc online examination it gets really bad they, they provide papers and papers like loose papers one by one for people to solve and people have to after every 20 minutes they have to say one more extra sheet one more extra sheet so they are very very hmm, what to say not going to use bad words over here but you'll have to deal with these situations no matter what. So multicolor pens, write it neatly, review for questions. You should fold the paper so that you don't waste time in doing the question completely again. It will be helpful for you 
in dealing with the examination so as you can see i was not taking this topic in the most serious manner but later i remember that oh yeah i used to create my own scribble pad and i have discarded thousands of them after doing calculations daily hours every day practicing in that because let's face it whatever you have to do on the day of the examination you have to become better at that or you have to practice more of that so that you get the experience it increases the efficiency during the examination because you are having the experience I still remember back in ISRO 2017 April examination, the biggest problem that I faced on the day of the examination was being able to manage the space and doing the calculation over there. So I'm going to talk about other problems that you're going to face over here. But first, let us discuss about how you can create a scribble pad for gate examination. So far, I've given a lot of examination, almost every examination that you can think of in engineering field but only gate examination is the one which gives you a booklet kind of scribble pad so i'm going to explain how you can create something on your own something that everyone can create now these are called a4 size sheets these are used for printing but these come in various variety and qualities so you can buy the lowest quality one because quality does not really matter over here what i used to do is fold it in half because this will be the dimension of your scribble pad generally but it is not going to open like this all right even though i used to practice a lot like this as well so what you are going to need you are going to need a stapler so you are going to put two staplers over here and over here and then it becomes like very small portable thing that maybe you can put in your previous year question bank over here just put over here and you can walk with the previous year question bank throughout the day and you can keep on solving questions that is what i used to do or what you can do is you can staple over here two staples more than sufficient and then what you can do is just simply cut from here what this will do is actually when you get to the gate examination it is not going to be in portrait mode like i said so gate will be giving you a booklet which opens something like this all right so you must be in a habit of solving questions like this now you can use this either way you can use this in portrait way also or you can use this in landscape way uh, there will be somewhere around 30 pages that means including both the sides it will be close to 60 pages so approximately you'll be getting one page every question but i don't really know and things might have changed over years so always keep in mind that this might be the last thing that you get and you might not get another like i've talked before but if you get that is good if you don't then you'll have to manage like i said using different colors but what i've said before i'll try to elaborate over here as well that if you are writing like question number one over here then try to solve it neatly write the elemental formula and then start start solving if let us say you are having a doubt in that question or you could not reach the end then you fold it like this and then you write the question paper sorry question number over here that way when you will be done at the end of the examination let us say you are left with half an hour then you will go to mark for review questions now mark for review questions will be available on the question palette with purple color obviously but you don't want to start solving that from the scratch because you have invested some time in that question so what you will do let us say that question is over here and you'll have pages folded up. You're only going to be looking for folded pages, folded pages, and you have written the question number over here. So you'll open it and you'll go through. If you have done everything correctly, if you have reviewed it, just because you're not sure or you have to complete it, then you can continue from there. Also, sometimes you have just solved a particular question, you just revise it, you won't be able to find out your mistake because your brain is moving in the same direction. But if you return after, let us say, half an hour, one hour, then you are thinking towards that question in a fresh manner and you'll be able to find the mistake that you made. That is the use of revising. So you will only be able to do that if you do all your questions in a neat manner. Now, obviously, I cannot move forward without saying that this will not be working in in examinations like ISRO examination, engineering services examination, and basically every examination other than gate examination because the only examination that gives more than one minute but to a particular question would be gate examination only. On every other examination, you'll be getting like one question one minute time. So over there, forget about revising any question. So you'll have to solve one question solid 
over there now this is the problem that you are going to face on other examinations so let us say this is the question paper of isro examination i do not know if you can see it properly but this is what you are going to get these are 90 sorry 80 questions that you'll have to solve in 90 minutes and the scribble pad you are going to get is going to be probably one to two page at the end of the question paper and nothing else so you will have to use these side lines and places that are placed over here to solve your questions other than that you have no other options and the end one to two pages are negligible basically so you'll have to develop a habit of solving questions over here so this is what i used to do i used to print out the question paper and used to develop the habit of solving the questions over there itself you can't do much about that or this is what I have I used to do. I've talked about this before. Only mechanical engineers would be benefited because of that. These are SK Mandel uh, question banks. It is available almost for every subject, but highly recommended for strength of material and production. And also thermodynamics, fluid, fluid mechanics and heat transfer. Basically, it's recommended for every subject, but first priority goes for production and strength of material. So these are basically are to be discarded but these you can solve the questions over here itself so it is going to give you kind of a feel of you have to solve the questions in psu fashion or isro fashion anywhere where it is offline system examination in online system you will be getting loose sheets for example brc examination you will be getting loose sheets like this and uh, do the best that you can do to utilize but in any examination other than gate examination you should not be expecting coming back and revising if it is one or two questions that are extremely critical then it matters over there you can think about coming back you can keep that paper aside but other than that you won't be able to do but yeah in gate examination i don't know where i kept it here it is yeah you can do something like this and if you keep on practicing just before gate examination as you can see one or two months are left properly for your gate examination when you will start to do your practice then you can practice using something like this it helps i used to do it every day and uh, i used to just solve questions over there and just throw it the lower most part of my cupboard like that is over there is used it used to be filled with those rough paper kind of booklets that i created every day it is also very portable it will be helpful for you all right so let's now talk about the sponsor of this video which is providing free study material revision for csi net people now you guys are having less than a month over here for preparation of your net examination and the last 15 days everyone would be in revision phase right so this video has been sponsored by unacademy and unacademy has brought this what we call revise india for csi ugc net and it is going to last throughout the November, the part which is necessary because on 15th November, you will be having the examination. Revision sessions are available for physical sciences, chemical sciences, mathematical sciences, and life sciences. So over here, most of the faculties over here, teachers who are teaching over there, are qualified in the examinations not only qualified their toppers i've seen like rank 2 under 10 a lot of those people are teaching over there so definitely utilize these advantages that you can use all of them are free all you have to do is whatever you are interested in let us say i'm in need of going through life sciences so i'll click over there and all i'm going to do is apply over here notify me you'll have to put your phone number down and you'll have to log in and that's it come to the day that you registered for you can take multiple classes whatever classes you are weak in you can go for it over here and uh, utilize utilize these opportunities i'm dead sure that you'll find some or the other advantage over here so you can see multiple classes are going on i'll put the link of it down in the description box you can go over there and register i think that there can be nothing better than this when i was preparing for competitive examination there was no such thing that is going to give me the revision so every day you, if you can invest somewhere on one to two hours then definitely it is going to be helpful for you the sessions are going to be live so other people are also going to be interacting over there maybe you can ask doubts over there as well it's a good platform use it special thanks to one academy for sponsoring this video and bringing these kind of uh, free study material for students science stream it is very difficult to get good study material but i think an academy is the only one which is doing a very good job of bringing these good educators together and doing it on a platform which is trustable all right so building an online platform is not easy but an academy has done that and now it is coming for science field you're welcome guys and i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye
I, I hope that you found this video helpful but still if there are some doubts you can put it down in the comment section and until then I'll see you next time.